Hey Wildwood, it's Coach Matt. Uh, we're gonna do a little throwing and tossing activity today. Um, and all we are gonna need is an open space. So somewhere in your house, a living room or dining room or a basement uh, or a family room or even outside if you can get outside, uh, that would be great as well. So any open space. Um, and then we need something to throw. I'm using socks, so I have three pairs of socks, but you can use a ball if you would like. You could use a wiffle ball or a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball or a baseball or a kickball or a volleyball, any kind of ball. You can also use any other kind of object that you can throw, all right, safely. Uh, so you could use uh, a hacky sack. You could use a ping pong ball. You could use a rubber bounce ball, anything that you would like, any object that you can throw that you have around the house or out in the shed or garage. Okay, um, so we're gonna be doing overhand throw and underhand toss into a target. So I have two baskets. I have a tall laundry basket and I have a short laundry basket. They're two different targets, something to throw to. Uh, my short laundry basket has a much bigger opening. So it's a much bigger target, a little easier to make it into. My tall basket has a little smaller opening, so it's a little smaller target to make it into. It's a little bit harder. It's also taller, so I have to throw a little bit higher to get it into the target. All right, I can put them anywhere I want in my, in my space. I can get as close or as far away as I want. If I want to start out nice and easy, I can stand real close to my targets. If I want to underhand toss, I'm going to step to my target with one foot. I'm right-handed, so I use my right hand, which means my left foot goes to the target. If I'm a lefty and I use my left hand to throw or toss, then I step with my right foot, my other foot. This is so that you don't hit your foot when you throw. Okay, if I am right-handed and I step with my right foot and I bring my arm back to toss, I'm gonna hit my own leg. Now it's also easier to aim at a target this way because it opens up your hips. If I step with my left foot, my hips are open and nice and wide and I have a lot of movement with my body. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is an underhand toss. I'm gonna to try to get into my easier target first. So I'm gonna step with my left foot to my target. I'm gonna bring my arm back and when I come forward and it gets right about to the level of my target, I'm gonna let go and try to toss my socks in the target. All right, I made one. There's one for one, two, and three for three. So I'm gonna try a little harder target, a little smaller target, a little taller target. Again, I step with my foot, I bring my arm back, and I'm gonna toss. There's one, two, and three. Three. So that was easy because it was really close. If I wanted to make it harder, I could get a smaller target to throw to. All right, so you could use anything. I have here these plastic containers, but you can use a Tupperware container, a small shoe box, any other small cardboard box. You could use anything. You could use hula hoops, big and small hula hoops. You could use anything to throw into. So now I have a little harder target, the hardest one to throw into. And again, I'm nice and close right now to make it a little easier. I still step with my foot, bring my arm back, and I'm gonna to toss right into my target. There's one, there's two, and there's three. So now I wanna make it a little bit harder. So I should be a little bit further away from my targets. Okay, so now I'm gonna move my targets over on this side and I can put them anywhere I want because it's your space and your game, all right? So now I'm gonna step a little bit further away and you're a little closer to me on camera so you can really see my body movement, all right? I'm gonna step with my foot. I'm gonna bring my arm back and I'm gonna try to toss into the tall laundry basket. So I'm facing that laundry basket right now, bringing my arm back and I'm gonna swing it forward and let's see if I can make it. There's one, good and two, and my third try, three for three. So let's make it a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna go for the smaller target, and you can go for any target that you want to start out. Again, I step with my foot, bring my arm back, let's see if I can get it in there. There's one, swing back, there's two, and three, 
four, three. So that's the underhand toss. Now I can really make a game out of it if I want. I can get as many targets as I want, and I want to try to make three. Or you can use four balls, or five, or six, or seven, however many objects you have at home. All right? I'm going to switch up my objects a little bit. Right now, I have three pairs of socks. I'm also going to add a big basketball. and two small balls. I'm gonna add a street hockey ball that looks just like this, and I'm gonna add a mini hockey ball or a soft foam ball that looks like this. So now I have some different things to throw. Again, I'm gonna underhand toss, and I'm gonna try to get it into a target. This time I'm gonna add one other target. It's still a small target, a small piece of plastic, a plastic bin, and I'm gonna add that one all the way back here and really try to challenge myself. All right, so my first thing, my first object I'm going to throw is this large basketball, okay? So I'm going to step to my target, I'm going to bring my arm back, and I'm going to try to throw it in the big basket, and I made it, so one for one. This one's going to be a little bit harder, it's a smaller target. I'm going to try to get it into the small basket. So I'm going to step to the basket with my foot, bring my arm back, and forward. Oh, it went in and out, so that one didn't count, it bounced out. Now I have the smallest ball. I'm gonna to try to get it to the really far target. I'm gonna really challenge myself. So I'm gonna step with my foot, bring my arm back and forward and try to get it in. Oh, that one bounced out too. Now I have my three pairs of socks to throw because I have a lot of objects. All right, so let's try to get in the big basket. There's one, I'm gonna go for the smaller basket. There's two, and I'm gonna go for the really small one. There's three, so that's underhand toss an underhand throw. You can use as many objects as you want. You can use as many targets as you want and give yourself one point for every target that you make. So I made one, two, three, I made four objects. So that's four points. All right, you can get as many points as you want. You can add as many targets or objects as you want. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you is the overhand throw. And the overhand throw is just a little bit different then the underhand throw. So with the overhand throw, I'm going to start with the big ball so that you can really see it. I still step to my target, but instead of bringing my arm back and throwing forward like I'm rolling a ball, I'm going to bring my arm up and behind my body, and then I'm going to swing it forward like I would throw a baseball or a wiffle ball. Okay? So I'm still stepping to my target. This time I bring my arm up and I swing forward and I release when my finger is pointing at the target. So I'm gonna bring the ball back, swing it forward, and when I'm pointing at the target, when I can see the target with my arm and my eyes, and I'm pointing at it, that's when I'm gonna throw and try to make it. All right, so I'm gonna go for the big laundry basket with a big ball. So I'm gonna step, bring my arm back, pull it forward, and let go when I'm pointing at the target, and I made one. Now I'm gonna try to use a little bit smaller ball because it's gonna be a little bit harder to get into the target. Again, I'm gonna step with my foot, bring my arm back, and swing it forward. Let's see if I can get this one in. All right, I'm gonna spring back forward, and I got it in, so that's two. I wanna go for a different target. So I have my three socks here. I'm gonna still step with my foot, bring my arm back and forward. I'm gonna try to go for the small target right there, the close one. I made that one. Now I wanna challenge myself and go really far away. So I'm gonna go for the short basket. Okay, so I'm gonna to step to the target, bring my arm back, swing it forward, and I got it. And now I wanna really challenge myself and go for the furthest one away. You can have, I only have four objects, you can have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, however many targets you want and however many objects you want. Okay, so I'm gonna to step to my target, I'm gonna bring my arm back, I'm gonna throw it forward, and I made it. So I got another point, I've got one, two, three, four, five points that time. I was five for five. I lost my little yellow ball somewhere. All right, it's somewhere behind all the toddler toys, but I'll find it later, okay? So that was the underhand toss and the overhand throw. All right, and just to show you something else that you can do, I'm gonna add more targets. So I have a bunch of plastic bins over here. This is what it would look like if you added more targets. It's kind of like a skee-ball game. And you can turn it into a ski ball game. But now I have a whole bunch of targets out here that I can try to throw to. 
And if you want to get really creative, then you can even add more items. So I have a whole bunch of targets because I have a pretty big open space. There's my yellow ball. I have a whole bunch of targets now that I can try to throw to. I have a bunch of different objects. And I'm even going to add one extra object this time. And that's a bouncy tennis ball. So I have a tennis ball, and I have a yellow rubber ball, and then I have my socks and a basketball. So I have all different types of objects I can throw. And I get underhand toss or overhand throw this time. I'm gonna start with an underhand toss. I have my tennis ball. I'm gonna to step to one of my targets. I'm gonna aim for this middle target right here in the middle. Let's see if I can make it in. It might bounce out if I throw it too hard. I'm gonna to step to my target, bring my arm back, throw it forward, oh, bounce it out. All right, so I'm 0 for 1. Now I'm gonna try for a big target, my big laundry basket. All right, I'm gonna bring my arm back, swing it forward, try to toss it in, made it. All right. So now I got a little ball. I should probably go for a little target. So I can go for any one that I want. I'm gonna pick this one all the way over here. So I'm gonna aim for this one. Let's see if I can make it in there. It's over by the four wheeler. So I'm gonna step to my target, swing my arm back, pull it forward, try to make it in. Oh, that one bounced out too. Sometimes when you use balls, they bounce a little bit. Right? Now I have a big basketball. I'm gonna step to a target, bring my arm back. I'm gonna go for this laundry basket right here. All right, let's see if I can make it in the laundry basket. So I step forward, I swing my arm back, pull forward, and it landed right in there. And now I have my socks still, my easiest ones to throw. I'm gonna try to aim for some different buckets. So I'm gonna aim for the really far bucket all the way over by the slide. So there's one all the way over here. Let's see if I can make it in there. It's a challenge, okay? So I'm gonna step on my foot. I'm gonna swing my arm back. I'm gonna try to get it in all the way over there. Oh, I just missed. I'm gonna try again. All right, I'm gonna swing my arm back. Pull forward, and I made that one. And the last one, I'm gonna overhand throw. So this one, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna step, bring my arm back and throw it overhand like I would a baseball, and try to hit the very last target all the way in the back here. Let's see if I can do it. Step forward, throw, oh, I went too long. I'm too strong, all right? So that's a little activity we can do uh, with some underhand and some overhand tossing. Um, and you can pick any objects that you want to throw to. You can pick any obstacles to throw into. Um, I have a slide over here, I have a basket, I have a hockey net, I can throw in any one of those if I want. So really you can make it your own and have fun with it. And if you have a friend or you have a family member, you can challenge them. Uh, maybe I'll challenge Coach Jeff sometime later today and see if I can get more points than Coach Jeff. So that's just something fun that you guys can do. I hope you have fun with this activity. Make it your own. You can choose whatever obstacles you want. You can make it as hard or as easy as you want um, and have fun with it. And I hope you guys are enjoying some time spent home with your families. Um, and I hope everyone's safe and healthy and happy. And I will uh, hopefully see you guys soon. All right, have a good day, Wildwood.